Kinder guys, how are you? We're back here with another lesson, but before I start, I have to say those Jackson Pollocks that you've been sending in, they are awesome. You really grab it. I felt like, you know, I was just looking at Jackson Pollock. Hey, what happened here? You go back, huh? Hmm. Okay. Hello there, my kindergartners. How are you? We're back here for another lesson, but before we start, I have to say those Jackson Pollocks, they were amazing. I cannot believe it what I've been seeing. I'll tell you what I saw. I saw action, I saw movement, I saw colors, I saw light everywhere. That's awesome. That's what we're supposed to be, right? When we're artists, that's what we do. We move around, we create. That's what our brain wants to do. Creating things is part of being an artist. And you have shown me that you are the best. Let's keep going. Okay, now, do you remember what did we discuss before we start Jackson Pollock? Do you remember? I'm gonna make you think about it. What? Does that ring the bell? Ha! <laughs> Very good. Lines, exactly. Line. Now, that's what we were talking about, right? That's how you create your Jackson Pollock with lines moving around. So, now, lines are very important for us artists because we create things with lines. Now, we're going to talk about something that we can create with a line that is not a line. Oh, what is that, Mr. Sousa? Create something with a line that is not a line? Yes, check this out, look. That's a line, right? Now, they are all lines because they start here, they stop there. Now, if I do this with this line, did you notice? If I do this, did you notice? If I do this, did you notice? They're not lines anymore. They are shapes, yes. Shapes, yes. Now, shapes, they are made with lines, but they are not lines. That's because a line, if you remember, is a dot that moves around. But when that dot goes back to where it starts, then it's not a line anymore, it's a shape. See, these are shapes that we know, like circle, squares, triangle, but there are other shapes that we don't have a name, like this one, look. See, that's a different kind of shape, but it's a shape because it's enclosed. So shapes, they enclose the space inside. It's a line that goes back to where it starts, okay? So this one has a special name. We call this organic shape. Don't worry about the name. Okay? We artists, we like to use fancy names, but we're not going to worry about those names. So, why are shapes so important for us artists? Do you know why? I'll tell you why. I'm going to use Mona Lisa to show you why, okay? So check this. Here is Mona Lisa. Now, Mona Lisa is a painting by an Italian painter named Leonardo da Vinci. Now, are we going to do a Mona Lisa? No. It took Da Vinci months and months and months to paint the Mona Lisa, and Da Vinci was painting all the time. So we're not doing that. We're not Da Vinci. We're not gonna do Mona Lisa. But Da Vinci knew about lines and shapes. Yes. Check this out. You see the Mona Lisa? Look at this. Look. What about if I look at Mona Lisa's head? Huh, a shape. What about if I look at Mona Lisa's body? A triangle. What about if I look at Mona Lisa's neck? A 
a square. Do you see what I mean? So, for us artists, it's very important to be able to look at things and recognize the shape. Yes. Mm -hmm. When you look at a shape, when you look at something, you say, Oh, look at that. Look at Mr. Souza. The boards on your classroom, they look like squares. Oh, Mr. Souza, the tables look like rectangles. Check those chairs, they are circles. Mr. Souza, do you know you have a oval face? Yes. What about my art? It looks like a long rectangle. So that's why it's important to learn how to look when you are an artist, okay? So that's what we're doing. We're learning how to look. So we look at things and we find shapes. So before you do what I want you to do, I want you to go around the house, take a look at things, and just describe them to mom and dad. Say, hey, mom, that door looks like an, an oval. Or, what? An oval? Do you have an oval door? Oh, never seen an oval door. Well, that door looks like a rectangle. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, the TV is also a rectangle. All right, check it out. Oh, what about the roof of the house? It's just a triangle. So take a look around. Discover the shapes that are in everything, okay? Lines and shapes, they're everywhere. I'm telling you, they're everywhere, okay? Now, after you do that, get your pencil, get a paper, and go create some art using shapes. Then you're gonna say, well, Mr. Souza, I'm gonna do art losing shapes. Check this out, okay? I'm gonna say goodbye to Mona Lisa, okay? Bye, Mona Lisa. Square. Triangle. Circle. Got it? You see? Look, I had three shapes and I created a whole new world. Do you see how easy it is? Right? So this is your assignment for this week. I want you to go check all the shapes you can find and then create things. Okay? Create something. Do a drawing where you know you're using a circle. You know you're using a triangle. You know you use a square or rectangle. You choose the shape. There are so many shapes, okay? Tons of shapes around us. All right, you got it? I am looking forward to these pictures and to check on your art, okay? Looking forward. Talk to you next class. Bye-bye. I'm going to keep going because, you know, I like art. <laughs>